Hello, I'm Ryan Roderick. I'm an Applications Engineer at Intersil. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the ISL 28023, made it up to an ISL 85415 buck regulator. The ISL 28023 is a DPM, or Digital Power Monitor. The board I have today is part of the ISL 28023 starter kit. The board uh, measures the efficiency of the 85415. This is the board, this is the dongle. The dongle is basically a USB to I squared C through. The demonstration board, which is ISL 28023 eval 2Z, has the ISL 28023 and the ISL 85415 with various loads. The ISL 28023 will control the output voltage of the ISL 85415, as well as measure the efficiency of the buck converter. I already have the, the demonstration set up. I've already activated the software, and I have the, uh, the board connected to a, a one amp power supply. Make sure you use a one amp power supply because at heavier loads, with a lesser supply, lesser current uh, source supply, the buck regulator may oscillate. Use nice short cables because any longer cables, cables have resistance, so therefore any current flowing through the cable, there will be a voltage drop. So nice short cables as well. And if the cables are long enough, um, it could cause the buck regulator to oscillate. I have launched the ISL 28023 and 25 evaluation software from a Windows 7 machine. To connect the demonstration board to the computer, press connect to device. The software will detect uh, wh what is connected to the dongle. As you can see here is that the regular ISL 28023 controls are to the left and the demonstration uh, controls of the ISL 85415 demo board uh, is to the right. R20 and R12, the current sense values, are uh, the shunt resistor values that were calibrated uh, at the factory. These were done with modest loads. If a lighter load passes through the sense resistor, uh, the, the value of our, our shunt may decrease because of the, t the TC rating of, of the shunt resistor itself. R12 is the shunt resistor for the, the load, to measure the current to the load. These two uh, shunt resistors will be used to calculate the efficiency of the ISL 85415. To turn on the uh, demo board or the, and the regulator, ISL 85415, press the on button. V bus, V shunt, current power, and V aux will all be selected or enabled to be measured. To reduce the noise, I will choose the internal average of 128 for the V shunt as well as the V aux. The default state of the ISL 85415 demo board is to not have a gain resistor. Thus, the regulator is in a gain of one which equals the V reference value of the buck regulator. And that happens to be 600 uh, millivolts. As you can see here. To set the, the voltage of the buck regulator to a specific voltage, press the set reg voltage button. The margin DAC that's inside the ISL 2023 dialog box will pop up. Enable the uh, DAC output as well as the margin DAC. You can choose from a host of uh, a series of uh, ranges or half scales. I'm going to choose the lowest range or the lowest half scale. This will provide the smallest step size between 0 and 0.8 volts. I'm going to set the, the margin DAC to be 0.16. It's okay. The VREG output will be near 3.181 volts. By setting the VREG voltage 
I'm enabling the gain of the V regulator. There will be an error voltage associated with the output voltage that is due to uh, the accuracy of the V reference. If the V reference is higher, then the output voltage will be higher. If the V reference is lower than 600 millivolts, then the reference voltage will be, or the output voltage will be, lower than the uh, specified 3.181 volts. Three point one three six volts has been measured at the output of the regulator. There is no load connected to the the regulator at this time, so therefore there's very little current um, being drawn by the the regulator as well as uh, the load. Now I'm going to apply the load to the regulator. You can either choose your own load by switching the, the output load uh, jumper from pin 2 to 3 to pin 1 to 2 and then using, uh, using the terminator to connect your own load or you can choose the built-in loads to the board. I'm going to choose maybe 11 and 7.5 uh, ohms in parallel. This puts a nice heavy load onto the regulator itself. I'm also going to enable the efficiency measurement to be made by selecting the efficiency checkbox. As you can see here is that the efficiency of the regulator itself is around 78 percent. To, to adjust the switching frequency of the regulator choose a, a switching uh, switch of frequency. The default state is 900 kilohertz. I'm going to choose 300 kilohertz and press the set frequency um, button. This will change the ISL 23345 DCP to the appropriate value such that the switching frequency is 300 kilohertz. Press measure once. The efficiency has increased from 77% to 80%. The switching frequency of the ISL 85415 ranges from 275 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz. The ISL 28023 has a temperature sensor built in inside. To enable that, press the chip temp checkbox. As one can see is that the, the temperature is 35.12 degrees centigrade. The ISL 28023 is offering a QFN package that has an EPAD slug. The EPAD slug is connected to the a demo board. Currently we are, have a 11 ohm and a 7.5 ohm in parallel which causes the regulator to source a lot of current. In doing so, it's also heating up the ground plane as well as other components on the demo board. The EPAG is connected directly to the ground plane of the demo board. So a heating up effect of, of the ground plane causes uh, the metal to heat up um, on the EPAD, which is reflected in the measurement that we are measuring from the internal temperature sensor. And as you can see now, since the last time I measured it, it went up 5 degrees, the temperature. Removing the load from the regulator causes less current to be sourced by the buck regulator. Less current means less heating. And after some time, the measuring the temperature, the temperature has decreased because there's no current on the ground plane causing the heat. There are three comparators that monitor for over voltage, under voltage, and over current connected to the, the, the primary bus channels, which are the V bus and the V shunt. They can be accessed through the threshold detectors under the ISL 28023 uh, drop down menu. 
Over voltage, under voltage, and over current detectors have a reference 6-bit DAC connected to each comparator. I'm going to enable the over voltage and the under voltage detector and, and set the range of, of the over voltage and under voltage detector to the VBUS uh, input to, to 12 volts. I'm going to set the high side to 13 and then the low side to 10. Press OK. Then there are two alert pins for the ISL 28023. And they can be programmed through the SMB alert uh, dialog box. As you can see here, is that the SMB alert 1 and the SMB alert 2 share the same digital filter and the same comparators uh, for over voltage, under voltage, and over current. But the SMB Alert 1 is connected to an open drain, and the SMB Alert 2 is a push-pull output. The SMB Alert 2 is currently being used as a enable pin for the buck regulator. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect the output comparator through a digital filter, which is a glitch filter. One can choose either the glitch to, to last 2 microseconds, 4 microseconds, or 8 microseconds before it is passed to the D flip-flop, which is the latch bit. One can also choose to unmask the bit or, or uh, mask the bit. The, the inverter is used to determine the polarity of the, uh, of the active state of the uh, error. So is it, is it active high or is it active low? This would we'll take that, and I'm gonna, at this time I'm going to have the digital filter be. Uh, I'll choose two microseconds. At this time, two microseconds will be choose for the over voltage filter, and zero microseconds will be choose for the under voltage. That's okay. And now make a measurement once. As you can see here, uh, right now um, our range is between. 13 volts and 10 volts. I'm going to adjust the power supply to go below 10 volts. And the backlight of the V-Bus turns a light blue, letting you know that there's an there's alert that has happened and it's below the, the under voltage threshold. Now I'm going to go above the over voltage threshold. And I'm going to measure again once. And you can see the backlight turns orange. This concludes the ISL 85415 and ISL 28023 uh, demonstration.